I'm Leon Todd, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use Celestian impulse responses with your Fractal Audio Axe FX3 and FM3. It's quite straightforward. Simply navigate to the cab block and ensure that you've just got a single cab slot activated. You can see cab two through to four are muted. I'm going to hit the picker tab in Axe Edit, and it will bring up a pop-up menu with all the available factory IRs. I'm going to use the search bar to narrow this down. I'm going to type in CEL for Celestian. I'll hit enter, and then I'll click the little pin. This gives me a list of all the available Celestian impulse responses, and I can simply click on one to immediately audition it, like this one, Factory Bank 2, number 1023, a Neo Creamback impulse. <laughs> If I like the way that sounds, I can simply exit this pop-up menu. Otherwise, I can audition other IRs using the same method until I've got the sound that I like. At the moment, I have an empty user slot loaded up into a single cab slot in the Axe FX3 cab block. What I'm going to do next is to navigate to my folder on my computer where I have my Celestian IR pack. So let's do that. I've got the G12M65 Creamback 4x12 cab pack, and I'm just going to audition this first IR by simply dragging it and dropping it onto the little icon that says empty. I can immediately audition this now by simply playing. <laughs> If I like the way that sounds, I can simply hit save. Otherwise, I can repeat that process and audition a different IR. For example, let's try this one right here. Have a listen to how it sounds on the same slot. If I like this one again, I can hit save after I'm done playing. <laughs> That one's a little bit darker sounding, which is often to my preference. So I'm gonna hit save up here and I can go back to the amp block and finish fine tuning my guitar tone there. Using the Fractal Axe FX3 editor, Axe Edit, I'm gonna navigate up to tools. I'm gonna to hit manage cabs. I'm then gonna click the little browser icon right here and this brings up the file browser. I can then navigate to the folder where I have my impulse responses stored. Let's choose this G12M65 Creamback file. I'm gonna simply drag it and drop it into the browser, which brings up this submenu here. I'm gonna click include subfolders when scanning, and then I'm gonna hit okay. This is gonna bring up this particular folder of impulse responses, and I can simply drag them and drop them over to relevant user banks. For example, let's try these six cabs right here. I'll drag them and drop them over here. I'll hit save, and then I can immediately access those using the user banks on the Axe FX3. For example, if I come down here and go to user bank number one, let's try one of these impulses right here. <laughs> And I'm good to go. What I like to do is click this little icon here and I can use the up and down arrow to quickly scroll through different IRs and audition them that way until I find the one that I'm happy enough building my tone around. 